Hi, my name is Marin, and today we're going to be doing the child's pose. Child's pose is so great for stress reduction and relaxation. It also helps relieve anxiety and it stretches out your whole upper body, stretches you in a way that builds confidence, helps you sleep better, and is healthier for your well being. So, we're going to start in a nice, comfortable position on the ground. And I like to use an exercise mat, but you can do this on the carpet as well. And we're going to sit down on our heels if possible. If this is too difficult for you, you can feel free to use a pillow or a yoga block. You just stick it right here on your heels and sit right down into it. From here, we're going to rock upwards into a nice tabletop pose. You want to make sure that your knees are right under your hips. We're going to spread those knees out a little bit and you can leave your pillow or bolster there if you need to. And from here, you're going to push back, sitting back on the hips. Push back all the way, extend your arms down, bringing your forehead to the ground. From here, your palms are going to press into the ground as you extend your arms upwards, but keep your shoulders down. So you don't, you don't want to shrug them up. You really want to keep them down nice and low, right where they're supposed to be. And from here, we're just going to relax, breathing in deep, pressing into the ground. <sighs> forehead is just resting on the ground. And that is how you do a child's pose. You can do this for at least five to six deep breaths. You can come out of it and go back into it again, or you can hold it for longer. Hi, my name is Marin, and we're going to be doing a progressive muscle relaxation. So you want to find a comfortable place to lay down on the ground with your arms and legs out. I like to sit in an anatomical position or the corpse pose. I want to make sure my hips are rotated slightly upwards so I'm on the ground. My shoulders are back and my neck is elongated. We're going to place our palms facing up. They're slightly away from our body and it's okay if your feet splay out slightly too. From here, we're going to breathe in through the nose, focusing on nice deep belly breaths, rising the air into our bellies and exhaling through the mouth. Focus on your muscles starting from the toes and the feet. Tense those muscles as you inhale and then relax as you exhale. You can do this once or you can do this a few times starting at the toes. Tense them, then exhale and relax them. We're then going to move our way up now to our shins and our legs. Inhale as we tense those muscles. Exhale and relax. You want to do this moving up to your core and your hips, your chest and your shoulders, your arms, all the way to your neck and the top of your head. Tensing those muscles. Then exhaling and relaxing. Repeat this routine as many times as you like or until you feel completely stress-free and relaxed. Hi, my name is Marin and we're going to be doing the Supta Baddha Konasana, otherwise known as the Reclining Bound Angle Pose. We're going to start by placing both the bottoms of our feet together. From here, gently lower yourself down to the ground and allow your hips to spread open, knees to spread wide. You want to keep both feet together, bottoms touching, and just allow those hips to open up. Your legs are heavy. Relax them. We're going to place our palms upright, slightly away from our body, and you're also going to make sure that your shoulders are back, your hips are tilted forward and your chin is slightly downward, elongating that spine and making it flat on the ground. From here, we're just going to relax and inhale and exhale deeply. If you need to use pillows, bolsters, or blocks because you can't open your hips wide enough without feeling uncomfortable, feel free to tuck a couple pillows on either side of your knees so that you can focus on stretching and relaxing within the stretch.
Hi, my name is Marin, and we're going to be doing the Tai Chi rocking motion. So to start, you want to stand with your feet about shoulder width apart, toes are pointed forward. From here, you want to give a slight bend in your knees. Make sure that your knees are not completely locked out, but you're not bending them all the way. It's just a nice slight bend in the knees. From here, you're going to rock your weight back onto your heels and up onto your toes. Back and forth. Back and forth. When we do this, we're going to also place a nice hand motion up and down, up and down. So as we rock forward, we're lifting up and back down, up and down. It's a nice rocking motion. You're swaying your hips forward and backward with the rolling onto the toes and rolling to the heels. And when people practice this in Tai Chi, they typically do this in repetitions of nine. So you want to do this nine times. And if you want to do more, do another set of nine. Once you're complete with your rocking and after your ninth repetition, you want to raise up on your toes one last time and then step down as you press your hands down, palms facing the ground, and gently come back to what's the resting pose with your knees slightly more bent. Hold this for a few seconds and then you're complete.